Okay, friends. Now let us talk about uh, different scenarios of protein translocation from cytoplasm inside the mitochondria. So, uh, for example, if a protein molecule has to be embedded in inner membrane of mitochondria, because in inner membrane of mitochondria we have to have different protein complexes. We have complex one, two, three, and four because of uh, because of carrying out those electron transport system. There are lots of proteins are needed uh, which have to be presented in the inner membrane of mitochondria. So to do that, we need to have different types of scenario, different mechanisms to embed those proteins in inner membrane of mitochondria. For example, we have this long protein like that. Uh, this protein is uh, uh, transport through the Tom complex, which is present in the outer membrane of mitochondria. And throughout the pro the Tom the protein is travel throughout the Tom complex, and finally uh, it will enter into this team uh, throughout the team complex in inside the mitochondrial matrix. Because in this kind of proteins, they need to have two different signals. One signal sequence is there uh, that tells the protein to, to be destined to the mitochondria. And the second signal sequence is there which is needed to be embedded it into the inner membrane of mitochondria. So these are the two component signal system uh, for embedding a protein molecule in the inner membrane of a mitochondria. So protein comes in, it will transfer to the TOM complex. Then the alignment of TOM complex channel with the TIM23 complex is done. Then the protein is transported through the TIM complex and as soon as uh, the signal uh, sequence of the protein is uh getting inside the mitochondrial matrix it is been it has been cleaved via the protease and then uh, the full subunit of the protein is incorporated or released in the matrix of mitochondria and when it when it is released in mitochondria it is having the second signal sequence and the second signal sequence is the hydrophobic region of the sequence which which actually em which will help to be embedded in the inner membrane of mitochondria the signal sequence will attach uh, uh, into this uh, inner mitochondrial membrane via the presence of uh, another set of protein complex which is called the OXA complex or OXA protein complex. This OXA protein complex is uh, interacting with the second signal sequence out there and it's interacting with the second signal sequence and finally uh, in such a way it, it, is, it is helping this protein to be folded properly which is uh, its destination point to be folded and finally it is making a pro proper protein fold uh, to make a fully functional inner mitochondrial membrane protein and the protein is embedded inside this uh, mitochondrial uh, inner membrane. That's how uh, the OXA complex actually helping the protein to be attached or to be embedded in the inner membrane of mitochondria. Not only the OXA complex, but another complex is also there which is helping this process to go on. This is the TIM22 complex as we have uh, talked about before. So what is the actual procedure of TIM22 complex is that in this procedure there is no mitochondrial destination signal sequence but, uh, but there is a signal sequence of the hydrophobic stage of amino acid sequences in the protein chain is there. So what happens whenever the protein comes in and contact with the TOM complex because the TOM complex is the ultimate receptor for any molecule which you have to enter into the mitochondrial membrane. So me remember this very very carefully TOM complex is the ultimate receptor for any protein which is has the destination of mitochondrial matrix or my mitochondria or any region of mitochondria so this protein comes in it will attach with the tom complex and the tom complex throughout uh, throughout this complex it is released into the intermembrane space so there is in this place of team 22 system there is no need of team 23 system so either tom complex is uh, acting along with the team 23 complex to embed a protein in our membrane via the oxa complex system or uh, the TOM complex is helping with the TIM, com team 22 complex uh, to embed a protein in the inner membrane of mitochondria. They do not need the TIM 23 or OXA complex in the second pathway. So in this pathway what happens, a protein comes in and it attaches with the TOM complex and it, it is incorporated in the intermembrane space. Uh, when it is incorporated in the intermembrane space, there are also chaperones proteins which are uh, preventing this protein to be misfolded. And this protein is actually again taking in, in, uh, into uh, embedded in, uh, through this TIM22 complex because as we know in TIM22 complex that is also having a translocation channel and throughout the channel of TIM22 com team complex, the protein molecule is dragged into uh, inside the inner, uh, inner membrane of mitochondria uh, and this process is facilitated via the membrane potential uh, as we can see the membrane potential is generated that's uh, why uh, the protein system or the protein uh, chain is embedded into this mitochondrial inner membrane after the embedding of inner membrane if, if the molecule has to be a several 
channel uh, membrane pass molecule then uh, they must contain several stretches of hydrophobic residue so several stretches of hydrophobic residues are there it is Im embedded in inner membrane of mitochondria and finally what we have a uh, inner mitochondrial membrane protein uh, which is going through via the team 22 complex okay so in all the different mitochondrial transport machinery system we must have the presence of tom complex because this is the ultimate receptor but after the tom complex is done what happens uh, this uh, either the tom, tom complex can act together with team 23 to, in, to take the molecule inside the mitochondrial matrix that's very fair uh, or it can also have the facility of oxa complex to embed the molecule in inner membranes uh, of the mitochondria or also it can have, uh, have the ac accessibility of team 22 complex uh, to embed a protein a multipurpose channel protein in uh, in inner membrane of mitochondria okay now if we we need to produce a protein in the uh, intermembrane space what we can generally do that's very very easy because uh, when you produce a protein in inner membrane or so inner membrane protein or in inner membrane embed protein like this so it's a single pass inner membrane proteins like that what happens there's a signal sequence which tells the protein to be present in the inner membrane of mitochondria so what happens uh, we, the mitochondria will release some protease which will cleave exactly from the signal sequence joint and finally in this picture it is dem demonstrated so finally it is cleaved and the protein is released in the inner membrane space or sorry intermembrane space of the mitochondria that's how the intermembrane space proteins are generated from the inner mitochondrial membrane proteins so this is the overall scheme of protein embedding and protein translocation from the cytoplasm inside the mitochondria and that's how it's done so tom complex is the ultimate receptor and it can also work with team 23 complex and oxa complex together it can also uh, work with team 22 complex uh, in different manner Okay, so that's how the whole process is done and I hope that's going to help you.